the people that I talk to often know I have had a lot of health problems related to food intake but when I spend time fixing that I have learned so much about the mental benefits of certain things which at top level gaming for example makes a huge difference so I thought why not make a video about it everybody knows coffee and tea contains caffeine so it improves concentration but that's pretty much all this topic is like huge underrated and unspoken of in esports as far as I know I think this is also a key aspect why a lot of pro players retire so insane quickly sometimes even before 20 because nutrition in the gaming world is completely unheard of and thus doing something like gaming at high competitive level all day can be super demanding so let me begin first there are short term brain boosts uh, the first one is tea green black and white tea especially white because they're all the same plant but white has the youngest leaves so it has more compounds in it uh, the first thing it has is caffeine obviously good for the better short-term cognitive function and reaction timing everybody kind of knows this uh, second it has L-theanine which increases dopamine GABA and alpha waves it's also synergetic with caffeine which means they kind of increase each other effects without having to have more of them and it also contains polyphenols maybe less important but still worth to point out because they can prevent a lot of neurodegeneration so basically tea is way superior than coffee especially if you would know how bad coffee is harvested these days second on the list is dark chocolate for short term it's shown to be very good for cognition and memory right here it contains theobromine which is superior to caffeine it has a longer effect than caffeine and it has no stress response which caffeine actually does it contains also phenethylamine which boosts serotonin and dopamine which gives you more cognitive better cognitive function it also has a really really high amount of flavonoids which boosts blood flow to key areas of the brain maybe a bit less useful for active people but since it has this high amount it's definitely worth to say and lastly it contains prebiotics for kind of bacteria good for the brain which means uh, yeah, it feeds these bacteria in the gut um, the beneficial ones for brain cells third on the list for short term is coconut oil coconut oil contains medium chain triglycerides instantly available for brain energy they don't need any digestion uh, now watch out because there is a lot of big pharma controlled brainwash going on with coconut oil these days because it's it's so good for the brain it even has to be shown uh, to be a remedy for Alzheimer's and many other brain diseases and illnesses but of course they don't want that because they can't make money of that so they kind of influence studies so you can be on chronic medications for the rest of your life so they get even more rich also people think the brain can only use glucose for fuel but that's actually not true at all because it's shown that the brain actually even prefers this kind of short fat um, above glucose last on the list for short term is blueberries personally I don't really like blueberries um, but what they do is they give a short-term brain function enhancement because of extra blood flow to the brain I don't know how useful this is in people that already have very good blood flow because they're active um, but if you're inactive I think it definitely can be 
something useful. Now for the two big long-term ones. The first one is actually cholesterol and not just like good and bad cholesterol because that doesn't actually exist. It's also a part of brainwash. Uh, let me explain why. The brain is almost pure fat and cholesterol as many other organs by the way, but especially the brain. But it's obvious the big pharma are, are also brainwashing cholesterol and people are scared of cholesterol. Which is so many people have like mental illness today, only eating low fat products like low fat yogurt, etc. Or even zero fat man made foods like zero fat milk or stuff like that. No wonder, for example, every vegan quits veganism before a few years. And those who don't have more than 15 supplements and, and mental diseases and illnesses and even other things like skin diseases. More recent independent researchers already show that high cholesterol is the most natural and healthy diet. Just like our ancestors had before we get brainwashed. Also the people that get the oldest have the highest cholesterol. Now good foods to get these from is eggs fat fish and fat meat like steaks. No, the only bad cholesterol that there is is oxidized cholesterol which is if you basically eat burnt food or some some weird oils that there are on the market these days. I only use coconut oil. The second big one for long-term brain health uh, are omega-3 fats. So again, I already said the brain is almost pure fat and omega-3 is a fat we need a lot of but we can't actually make, synthesize or self so we have to get it from our diet good foods uh, to get this from is just all fatty fish basically nothing else 